G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Jackbox Party Pack! Hello! <laughs> what was that voice? One of the Jackbox games that does a voice that sounds like that. <laughs> I was not expecting that! <laughs> right, uh, so that was the thing. We're going to start with some Fibbage 3! Hello! <sighs> Right. Now, quickly do the sneaky sneaky. Da da da. Oh, you go. always beat me in. I wasn't and even three, trying that hard. Two, one, there we go. There's the room code. Enter your room code and join us. So head to jackbox.tv and enter the room code and you can join along. Even if you don't get into the people who join in, you can join, you can uh, be part of the audience and vote on stuff too. Oh. Still one spot remaining. There we go. Last minute entry by Patrick. Indeed. Uh, so the reason we do these streams on YouTube is there only needs to be one stream of it and it kind of feels like a more central place for these things. But remember, it's YouTube, so if you're naughty, you will get in trouble. <laughs> or you'll get us in trouble, more correctly. Everybody play nice and I nobody gets Dickie hurt. Masterson, and yes, the <laughs> nobody poke out any eyes. In the 80s, I was a backup dancer for Janet Jackson. How oh, good an eight player game. Maximum chance of misspelled words. Oh, and anyone else <laughs> That's who so wants true. to get in it can is be the maximum the chance of misspelled words. The audience gets to throw extra lies into the mix and guess the truth along with players. Let's play. Oh, yeah. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get a cool thousand for finding the truth. Time to pick a category. All right. What, what, what did we question. pick? In 1999, the Make-A-Wish Foundation put a new restriction on wishes. The organization officially banned kids oh. from requesting... Oh, there are so many life. things. <laughs> Now, I feel like I've had this question before, but I can't remember what the answer was. If you're stumped, yeah. you can hit the lie for me button, but using it's only worth half the points. Do it now. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about the room code, it's always in the top left or top right once we're in the game. So you can join there. <laughs> F-H-G-G. -G. Yep. Finish quick. So here are your choices. Look for the truth and tap <laughs> Live on your ordinance. device. Jeez. ban someone from requesting Batman figurines. Uh, it's insensitive to bats. Uh. Alright, I gotta give my uh, my like to more wishes. Yep. And what did people pick? Oh, I got the audience. Yeah! Alright, that was a good one, Capac. I gave you a like for that. The lifetime supply of chocolate. Oh, 
Oh. Yay, we got it right! Yeah! <laughs> I knew that one. I actually remember that from being on the news. Some kid requested the bear hunting or something? That was a whole big thing about it. Give me a category. Uh Drinking in Canada. Here's the question. The downtown hotel in Dawson City, Yukon, has a cocktail that contains a pickled blank. Okay, enter your lies. Capac, you may have to exercise your um, censorship on this one if people don't behave. Uh, oh. Yeah, pickled Ricks. <laughs> Morty, Morty, I'm a pickled Rick cocktail. Uh, had to give Jackson had to give you an excuse to do your Rick voice, didn't he? <laughs> right. Always find the truth. Uh huh. Um, well, a whole beaver. <laughs> well, this one is going to be an interesting one. Let's see what you guys picked. The results page takes uh, is um a lot longer. Oh, oh Kapak! <laughs> well played. Right, I was there. like, I I can almost imagine that, and how horrific it would be. Oh, I got dragged on. Pickled egg. <laughs> pickled toe? Yep. What is pickled? It contains a pickled toe. Yep. Pickled toe of what? A person. It's a human toe. What? Yeah. Category. I think it's a big toe. Um. Okay, we don't have all day. Let's this see what we thing. Got. In Denmark, on an unmarried person's 25th birthday, their friends throw blank at them. Enter your lies now. Yeah, I huh. think I think somebody like swallowed the toe and they had to replace it. I can think of so many reasons why that's not allowed in most places. <laughs> Oh, oh no. you're running out of time. Oh, that was close. Oh. Down to the okay, wire. Look for the truth and pick it. Capac, it's the pickled herring you. Got a huh? herring on the brain.
Let's see how things shook out. That's too metaphorical. Yeah, that's that's quite fair. <laughs> it's a bit too metaphorical for something for a place that doesn't speak English as its main language. Oh man, you don't you don't want to throw forks at people. You have somebody's eye out. It was yeah, you. It was me. Do <laughs> <laughs> it. So, oh, was that planned? Uh, I think Capac might be in the lead this time. Um, that was a good guess. Oh, you are thoroughly in the lead. Oh, wow. in because all the points are double. This yeah, I'm curious why cinnamon Hollywood. as well, Dragnon. Uh, maybe the idea is if they're 25 and they haven't married yet, um, maybe they smell bad. July so you try to make them smell better by throwing cinnamon at them. Tweeted, Dear Twitter friends, the blank <laughs> are running fast and free. Type in your lies now. No, autocorrect. That is not what I wrote. I have to censor myself. Hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. It, everyone's entered! What are you doing, game? Hello, what are you Okay, seek the truth. All oh, right. Oh. That's a tricky one. I'm I'm even if I'm wrong, I I'm picking an answer that I think is funny. Let's take a look. Oh. The Muppet. It's rare that an audience lie gets um, multiple people. I oh. uh, didn't get anyone come back. Neither did I. <laughs> It's because spice salesmen would travel around and remain bachelors because they were never in one place long enough to settle down with someone? Wow, that's a thing. Aw. Yeah, it was worth it. Salamander. Wait, did anyone get this right? Happy squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Capac knocked down a peg. No. Okay, pick a category. Ooh, elusive bacteria. Hilarious deformities. Oh, just do it. For your trouble. Here's a question for you. A customer of the Sands Casino in Pennsylvania was arrested after tipping an employee. That's because instead of cash or chips, he gave out blank. Write your lies now. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> yeah, Shane, that will be funny. <laughs> I swear, if pickled herring is an option. <laughs> okay, where's the truth? Really don't know, because what would he be arrested for? Part. It's like you'd probably get arrested for well, a few of those things, but not all. Not most of them wouldn't be arrestable. Uh, okay. What? What's no. ah, okay. Well, it would make sense if it was some kind of drugs. And if it's not that, then it would... Well, yeah, that would that would count. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wrote it. But yeah, it's got to be the Valium, surely. See? Speaking of which, I also accept tips if anyone's... The fact that that wasn't pluralized and the grammar is odd was why I didn't pick that. Well, uh, yeah, but I guess if, like, each person he's leaving a tip, he's giving them a Valium. Yeah, it just felt awkward, because so then it would be category. gave out Valium. Let's see how this strikes just you. odd usage that made me go, ah, can't Kentucky be that. It's definitely not that. In by right. News that the Kentucky Coal Mining Museum was blank. All right, type in your lies. Coal Mining Museum. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. <laughs> you're running out of time. <laughs> Adding on a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, find the truth. Uh... Funded by Al Gore. <laughs> okay, what did everyone pick? The funded by Al Gore actually makes sense because he wants to put all that stuff in the past. It's also funny. True. <laughs> you just uh, picked that because you wanted it to be that, didn't you? That would be pretty cool. <laughs> So I didn't say solo because I'm pretty confident it's the truth. And it was also... What? <laughs> That's a Great random times. one for two people to say. Holy moly. <laughs> I just thought of like the subsidence stuff that happens up in Newcastle with all of the... Yep. Um, coal mining that happened under the They're city, and I was like, "Oh, sinking." They used to go through. That was exactly the same thought process. Ooh. I'm still on top. 
back on top, Welcome you mean? To the final that too. It's your last chance at points, and it's worth triple. Don't blow it. Great news. In March of 2017, Demeter Fragrance Library released their newest perfume, which smells like the blank of a blank. Type in your lies now. Uh, uh. Yeah, Capac, um, keep an eye on what everyone responds to this one. Yes. Since you've got the censorship. Truth. Ooh. I think we gotta warn chat more than we need to warn the people actually playing. Dog the bit too. Elbow of a cyclist. Let's see what everybody <laughs> selected. Elbow of a cyclist. Well, <laughs> Where did your head go to get to that? <laughs> uh, I did like that one. The underside of a locomotive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now I'm genuinely curious what the truth is here. That is poor grandma. Hair of a dog, isn't it? No. What? Fur it's of a kitten. The fur of a kitten. You knew that one. No. <laughs> but it was the one that Free made the most just sense. Sit on my aunt's couch for a few minutes. Ah. Oh. Congratulations, Capic. Capac. 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 I don't know why I said Capac. <laughs> Congratulations, Capac. <laughs> uh, oh, got got a double double most likes. Winner, Capac. Most likes, Ch Fish. And Ward. Worst liar, JC. Most gullible, JC. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Patrick got the Comedian Award. I lie to you. You best lie, lie to from Capac. Yes! Herring was the best lie. It always is. Do you want to do another round, Capac? Sure. the screen and now capex in in three two one showing the code a j k o whoa that filled quickly Blakey. Yeah. Oh no. Blakey knows all our secrets. <laughs> oh dear. I 
I'm Cookie Masterson, and I've started a small fire somewhere in the room. Let's see how this plays out. Attention players, this will be a completely full game. Please put your luggage in the first available compartment. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. Audience members try to spot the truth and choose their own lies to fake out the players. Let's go. This is round one where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll net a thousand for finding the truth. Time to pick a category. Dr. Kartoff. All right, Kartoff us a lot. Let's see what you come up with in brief. All right, question one. If you're in the market for men's briefs, a company called Spartan designs its drawers to protect the wearer from blank. Write your lies now. Huh. Okay, which one's the truth? Ooh. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh no. What? Uh, I pressed the wrong one. <laughs> which is the one you picked that you weren't meant to? I pick snakes. <laughs> I don't think it's snakes. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Oh, those spelling errors. Yep. Oh, the audience got me. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> we spent too much time together. Also... <laughs> uh... Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> you are <laughs> kidding me! Hmm, kind of spooky. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Blakey went to high school with us. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it. That's ridiculous. Oh, uh, that's what you meant to click on instead of snakes, wasn't it? Yeah. Important text messages. Ooh, a tie at the lead. Category. Oh, what's Blake you gonna pick? Okay, here's the <laughs> question. President Warren G. Harding was a fan of poker. In one game, he ended up gambling away the White House blank. Answer your lies now. Oh, it's so hard to talk during this bit because I don't want to give away <laughs> other things and all mess up things for other people. Because I was going to say some of the, Hurry, th the things that are in chat right, right now, something. just because they were the first things that popped into my head. All right, pick the truth. Yep. Um, come back. Do you know what I? Chennai set is? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Chinet? Uh. 
I will admit, if it turns out to be turkey, right, that's hilarious. <laughs> Ooh. Not the lamps. Not the chandeliers. It's not the chin it's set. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the turkey? What, what even is that, Jackson? I, I gotcha! Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a brand of something. Okay. Jeez, that wasn't the truth. Someone did a dang good lie. Man, I'm doing real poorly this time. All right, can all turn on one round. Okay, pick a category. Retrial. Try this one. In a 1994 UK murder case, the Court of Appeal was forced to call for a retrial after learning that jurors had blank before delivering the verdict. Okay, enter your lies. Filled deer sausages on the barbecue. I'm intrigued. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Oh, that's making me hungry. <laughs> okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> use the Ouija board. <laughs> that's amazing. I kind of want to give it. There's some really good answers there that it could be any of them. There's some really funny ones. Watch the Law and Order. I love this part. Yep, that's a good one. Oh. Wait, is it is it actually going to be used a Ouija board? <laughs> That's going to be the real answer, isn't it? Maybe. <laughs> wow. Yeah, these people were Was not dumb. expecting that. But hey, guess how many <laughs> wrong ways to spell Ouija we had to account for in this question? It was a lot. Oh, I'm climbing back up. Yeah, it's tied at the top there. Values are doubled. Give me a category. <laughs> okay, here's your question. In April 2017, Pope Francis made headlines when he opened up his own blank. Write your lies now.
I think you'll find the answer is religion. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's called it. Okay, which one is the truth? Dang, I almost answered the same as someone else. Oh, I do it again. Selected an answer and then saw a better answer. Okay, let's take a look. Oh. See, that's what I almost wrote as my lie. That's about. And then I decided to write that instead, which did not do well. Francis and Jerry's. Oh! 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 Well, that's off to you. That has got to be the winning lie. Yep. Oh man. I think we. Uh, I think we know how this is gonna go. Yep. Oh, Blakey, well played. <laughs> the answer then what wait so Pope Francis's laundry is a free laundromat for Rome's homeless population oh so somebody okay. somebody had it right because somebody did drag cleaning service and yet didn't pick the but it didn't pick it up as being like similar enough to the answer How about some <laughs> <Russian fish>? oh, no <laughs> If you wanted to use the Russian version of the phrase, what goes around comes around, you'd say, the cat will eventually get a downpour of blank. Type in your lies now. There are some really obvious answers to this, and I just can't think of what the not obvious <laughs> answer is. It's Russian, there is no obvious answer. <laughs> okay, here are your choices. Angry emails. Oh, uh, running yeah, out of time. Have no idea on this one. Okay, what did everyone pick? Yeah, the last thing you want is an oily cat. Yeah. Oily fur. Oh, no. Oh. Ouch. Oh, they took the bait on that one. <laughs> and it was also... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And believe it or not, it was also... <laughs> <laughs> Jinx!
Thank. Uh, what? I, again, I keep being foiled by my own concerns uh, about grammatical good sense. Those crazy Russians. Time to pick a category. Alright, here it is. Hoping to keep a little spice in life, even in your old age, in 2018, the Minto Communities will be opening a blank-themed retirement home. Enter your lies now. Uh, hmm. It's too early for it now, but in a, in about 50 years, it'll be a uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe themed retirement home. <laughs> yeah, it's quite possible. Finish quick, or just hit the live for me button. Okay, take a look and find the truth. <laughs> uh, I've got to. I I kind of feel like I have to pick survival unlikely. Oh jeez, a Jurassic Park themed retirement home. <laughs> See what everybody I guarantee selected. I've got this one wrong. <laughs> Dark but funny. <laughs> Survival unlikely. No votes. <laughs> Dang it. What? Yep. When That's I was nice going through first, the ones I liked, I went, oh, wait, it's that, isn't it? Of salt. Oh no, I'm falling back down again. <laughs> so, I'm only just ahead of you. We're having a shocking round. It's final fibbage time. Pay or other people are having a great round. Last one's worth triple points. Have fun. In July 2017, a man in Shelby Township, Michigan, set himself on fire in a meth lab explosion. Naturally, his reaction was to blank at blank. All right, type in your lies. the at that's throwing me on this one. Like people are struggling to answer. Get him in quick. Time is almost out. All right, where's the truth? Uh, 
pizza at the gas station, lie at the hospital, throw his pants at a passing ice cream truck, flash at the cops, bark at the moon, yell at the moon, shout at the bus stop, shower at Planet Fitness, rub butter on himself at the local preschool, or run at passing traffic. Well, that's a lot of answers. Yeah. a lot of and planet fitness comments pick? again lately because of our coloring of stuff in survival unlikely with the purple and yellow apparently uh, that's their colors that was a lie for me lie <laughs> I, I got halfway through typing something i'm like i'm not going to finish this i just quickly did it I take no responsibility Other near identical answer. Oh, oh. nice line. Ugh. I'm really off my game today. Well, I mean, seriously, you don't want to your own drain with burning flesh. <laughs> well, oh, <laughs> oh, tech with that answer in the last round. Well played. Oh, ward with the likes again. Right, um, should we do that, um, that bracket one? That went pretty well last time. Oh yeah, we can play bracketeering. Uh, we need to remind people with bracketeering, no capac or splitsy in the answers. Is that the rule again? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bracketeering's in this one, so I don't have to... Bracketeering! What, what rules should we say for this one, Capac? Um, obviously no splitsy or Capac in the name. Yeah, do we do uh, we allow more subtle references? Yeah. Okay. Any, anything else should be fine. Revealing the code in three, two, one, go! This one's got 16 players, so you got a much greater chance of getting in. And here we are! <laughs> Everybody's in! That was quick. And you can still join the audience. Yes, you can. And the audience has a much bigger role to play in this. Because I think the audience votes count We've the same as the players' votes. We've got waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering! I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. 
the word or phrase most deserving of being banned from the English language. Hey, let's be cool about this one, okay? Type in the best, most winningest answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. Seems fine from what YouTube's telling me. Running out of time. One second. Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to sidle up to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you could win some sizable bonus bucks. Oh, and don't forget, if you think your own answer is going to crap the bed, you can still get that sweet, sweet cash by predicting the correct winner. The predictions are in. Let's dive into our first bracket. Bitter rivals collide. Use your device to vote uh, on which you yeah. think deserves to I win. Feel, I feel like forget, deserves to like mind, the like band. Last second votes in now. And that's not my answer is in this one, and it's not like. But I still think like should be banned. Everyone stop using it. <laughs> and that answer pays out 20 prediction winners. Our next matchup. <laughs> Wait, go on, Capac, which of these do you think should be banned? I am on the edge of my seat. Oh, I think, I think, bruh, is running away with it. Yep. This one seems like it's over before it's done. You will not be denied. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. I can't believe I'm seeing this! No one thought it would be Ooh. this close! What? Who, who wants to get rid of fun? <laughs> yeah! We're in That's the not okay! Stretch. Oh, and people, beware, you can change your vote once it's there. Everything has changed! No one could have predicted this one! It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. Oh. <laughs> literally. Literally thing. has to literally be the literally worst word there. Even though Fortnite's there. I disagree with the vote. <laughs> I think it's going to lose the popular vote, though. Just I think it is. The clock now. Get out of the way. I mean... Literally is a fine word to use when it's used correctly. Yes, this is true. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. Hey, you got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is going to win. B2, it's all on you. Come on. Time's running out. The predictions there are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Yeah, thankfully, Sergeant Bacon, the spelling of Fortnite used was the game's spelling. This one's looking over already. This one's looking over. I think the bros have it. That was a slaughter. Yep. 
Cole, we never say that anyway. Money, if you guessed it. Uh, unless Capac occasionally says it ironically. This could be the answer <laughs> to beat, but let's check out the competition. It's weird that this is my job. Well. <laughs> Bruh, like, Fortnite is literally the worst. Like, bro. Just running out the clock now. Let's revise the dictionary. Now well, that was an easy predict. And now we finally decide what word or phrase is most deserving of being banned. Potential winner starts to emerge. Ooh, tight. It's very close. Oh, come on, audience, get your votes in. This one's going down to the wire. A few people haven't voted who are in there. Oh, oh tight winner. one. La. Wow, what a bracket. Let's see how the score shook out. Yay! I'm near the top. Oh, I'm right in the middle. <laughs> no, you're not. You're still in the top oh, half. Right, the 16 people. <laughs> All right, I'm in the top third. It's time for the blind bracket. We start with just the category. Name any store or recognizable restaurant. Go ahead and write the first oh, thing man. that comes to mind. Uh, we'll see the real bracket title after the answers are all in. store as well. Store or recognizable restaurant. Time's running out. Five seconds. Hurry up. Two seconds. Come on. Ah. Oh. Let's see what this bracket no is from really two people. about. Most I'm calling likely Bond. to still be around a hundred years from now. Time to get in those predictions. <laughs> oh boy. Oh dear. I am not going to answer that question, Sergeant Bacon. Not a chance am I spilling the beans on what might happen around that, if anything. You never know when a cockroach might scuttle Time's out from underneath out. the fridge. Capac also Time has no idea what I, what I do or don't have planned Time in Survival Unlikely. That's on. the fun of it. Folks, I've been waiting for this matchup my entire career. Ooh. I mean, realistically, I think oh, everybody knows the more. answer. Yeah. It's gotta be Whole Foods, right? <laughs> this one seems like it's over before it's done. <laughs> Decisive I mean, victory! We're not gonna have sports in 2120. They'll all have been abolished. Moving on to our next matchup. Oh. The struggle is real. Yeah, the, the trouble with the regional now. thing is you kind of got to go North American because I think most of our audience at the moment are probably win, Daddy likes. would probably recognize North American brands. Well, uh, I had to go for the misspelled pickled herring regardless. <laughs> Why don't we see what's going on on the other side of the I don't know how to correctly pronounce it, Jackson. These answers faced off last year, but will the results oh. be the same? Oh, will the Canadians win? 
looks like they're in they're doing well. It's really going back and forth. This Name four over. places I've never been to. I have been to two of those. That I've been to a Tim Horton. Close. Oh, actually, I'm... Wait. How long has Tim Horton's been around? It's oh, time to quite a while. The oh, there's another Tim Hortons! <laughs> oh, we gotta make Tim Hortons versus Tim Hortons! <laughs> oh, if only the, t the two Tim Hortons had been on opposite sides of the bracket. <laughs> we could have had them in the final. An all Tim Hortons final. <laughs> Well, get any you got your wish. <laughs> oh, it's only the semi though. The Tim Hortons off. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. Oh. I have to predict which of the two Tim Hortons is going to win. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a draw, right? Will the apostrophe have it or will the non apostrophe have it? Come on, Colin, man. Five seconds. Come Three on, seconds. get your predictions in. One second. No, they Time's missed out. Time's up at the prediction table. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Oh yeah, Jackson, whichever one's technically correct is the one we shouldn't go for. Could this what be should a go for? I don't know. The lead keeps changing hands. Oh. Oh! An epic showdown! Oh. This is come. Oh. oh, McDonald's took it in the last five seconds. That battle gave me whiplash. <laughs> McDonald's versus Tim Hortons. Who will win uh, that battle? Tim Hortons has to battle Tim Hortons first. I know. Initial votes are coming in. Oh! Oh! It's really going back and forth. Oh man! It's a nail biter! Oh! Oh! The I apostrophe it. wins it on the line! That was very tight. We have a few lucky winners. And now the final face-off. Right. Which of these places Canada is most versus likely to still be around McDonald's. years from now? What? Is that true? McDonald's in it has Tim Horton's coffee? What does it? Oh come on, Tim Horton's! Oh, getting smashed by Maccas. Uh, McDonald's this is unstoppable. Like it's over it's done. Oh, they brought their A game today. Oh, I can't wait to get my delicious cybernetic double cheeseburger. <laughs> Let's check out that scoreboard. As the where are you now? Oh, eight. You slipped, Kapak. No. I've held on to my third place spot. And now the bracket you've heard so much about. The triple blind bracket. Oh yeah, this, this is the fun one. Will change every single round. Kinda Here's wish we could make them all triple category. blinds. Yeah. Any small object. <laughs> Who knows what crazy twists and Remember, turns this bracket no Capac, no Splitzy, no Steve. Time's running out. Yeah. 
Let's see what we're dealing with. Best item to give to trick-or-treaters instead of candy. Time to get in those predictions. <laughs> oh, man, some of these are going to be funny. Uh -oh. All cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. Oh, jeez. I gotta pick that because it's funny. Come on, Mill. Pick your winner. The predictions are in. It's good time. The scales are beginning to tip. Best item to give trick or treaters instead real. of candy. My sense of self worth. <laughs> Just running out the clock now. Pew pew pew! Yeah, I think people miss the point with the small object. A the agglomeration is not a small object. Predictors. Next up. Uh, uh, it's not the first one. <laughs> no one thought it would be this close. Oh. Will we see a final push? Yeah, that was tight. What a whirlwind! Yeah, giving the children brains. <laughs> it's not gonna <laughs> end falling. Yep. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. This is a big one. <laughs> the goblin. Give him the goblin. <laughs> I think there's a clear winner, Kavak. Oh. For the moment, anyway. This one's looking over. <laughs> No contest! Chewing on AAA batteries. Nom nom nom. Money if you guessed it. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. This is gonna be the best Halloween ever. I am on the edge of my seat. Oh, oh, oh. a three-way tie between the moon, dirt, and paper clips. Whoa, dirt, one by close. one. Show your support for your answer. Oh, tap as fast as you can. As fast as you can. Oh. Uh, okay. The tie oh. has been broken. <laughs> I'm going to miss the tie times. Oh, man, that one was close. What? Let's switch up this bracket. Have we got brains? Thing that would make the awesomest Horcrux. Get those predictions <laughs> in oh, now. Oh, jeez. Well, that doesn't even work, so it's got to be that one. The predictions are in. Which it kind of Let's was. Let's jump back to our bad. bracket for round two. I don't know what you're talking about, Kavak. This is one for the ages. Oh man, these are a lot tighter than they usually are at this point. A real tug of war. This might be a photo finish. Oh. These two heavyweights went Brain. back and forth, but there can only be one victor. <laughs> Maybe for once my sense of self-worth will win out. Oh, <laughs> Jackson. So sorry, Jackson. <laughs> that was, that's, one more that's a beautiful piece of writing, finals. but dang. Talk about a rivalry. These two competitors have been at each other's necks all week. Oh, triple A battery! Very strong lead. 
This one seems like it's over before it's done. Yeah, Goblin would have been a great Horcrux. Well done. First round's on you. 71%. Oh, every oh. One final switcheroo. Oh, what Most have we likely got for to be voiced by round. Gilbert Gottfried in a Pixar film. <laughs> oh yes. Your answer still makes sense. <laughs> and now the final face-off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are both amazing answers. I know. Out of the you can see the both lead. of them in a Pixar film. Though, I can kind it's of see, really um, back and forth. <laughs> Toy Story getting a AAA battery that talks. This one could be decided by a single vote! <laughs> Moving into overtime! Oh! Oh! Tap on your device oh. as fast as you can to cheer for your answer! So... I guess everyone should just imagine Gilbert Gottfried voicing a AAA battery talking about being inserted into the other toys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brain one! Oh, Gilbert Gottfried is playing a brain. <laughs> uh, my AAA battery was knocked out in the final round. The top score. Yeah, I came second. Pla. I'm guessing Pla is player. Ooh. That's a lot of points. Oh, Kapak, you moved up to fourth in that round. I did. You did. What? <laughs> the word or phrase most deserving of being banned from the English language. Fortnite by Pla- Oh, it's Plastic Straw is Pla. Uh. Should we do another round? Uh, yeah. Do another round of bracketeering. Alright. Hiding the screen. Uh, come back. I might sit out this one because I'm going to just quickly go have a quick bio break, but I will get everything started before I do. Okie dokie. So there's your code. Okay. Alrighty. Everyone revealing the code in three, two, one, go. And the code is ZSMY. <laughs> and everybody's in already. Everybody else, feel free to join in the audience. And I guess we'll get this party on the road. Let's see how much of it we can get done before Splitsy gets back. We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. This yeah, is we got all that last time. I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. The coolest time to rip your shirt in two and let out a primal scream. Uh. I should probably be wearing a shirt for this one, huh? Type in the best answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in moolah. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. Ten seconds to go. Get your answers in now. Time's running out. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, we lost. Your tech. answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to introduce ourselves to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you'll earn some sweet, sweet moolah. 
Oh, and don't forget, if you don't think your own answer has a chance of victory, you can still grab some cash by predicting the correct winner. The predictions are in. It's time to dive into our first bracket. What have we got? This could get ugly. Use your device to vote on which Ripping you think up your shirt for the primal scream when mom brings the pizza and the graduation mind, ceremony while watching light echoes or at airport security. Just running out the clock now. Oh, and yeah. airport security takes it. Rip right out of that shirt. Any prediction winner has just made a killing. Next up. When you finish a question on a math test in your ultimate form, WrestleMania or eating kids. No one thought it would be this close. I don't know if cannibalism is a good way to go. This one's looking over. That kind of domination is illegal in some states. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Eastern Conference. It's a bracket like this All that right. truly makes this game right the after the Kings. News end, science pass, picking up your kids from daycare or a snowstorm. The struggle is real. This one seems like it's over before it's done. Oh, kids from daycare has it. There's cash if you predicted this one. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. When a new video comes out, jumping out of a burning plane yeah, on a first date or when here. you get stopped in traffic. Oh, come on. Who the hasn't gone on a date and hands. ripped off their shirt and let out a primal scream? Just running out the clock now. Like falling off a log. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. We'll get your predictions in. Up waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is going to win. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Overwhelming support already. Oh, it's a close one. The struggle oh, there's is a bit real. of back and forth, but it's leading towards airport security. This one's looking over. Math test is valiantly struggling, but They're it couldn't make fire. it. Our winner moves on to the final, but let's find out what they'll face off against. These answers faced off last year, but will the results be the same? Oh, it's another An close one. Making. Oh, it's very close. Will we it's see right on the line. Push? Wow, what a time to walk in. Gets it right at the end. This final matchup will determine what is the coolest time to rip your shirt in two and let out a primal scream. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, honestly, it's I reckon the picking your kids up in daycare forward. one is the coolest one. It's all over the place. But airport security it's still has the edge. Fighter. We have our first winner. Oh, airport security. Oh. 
Let's see those scores. Capac just making it into the top bracket. It's time for the blind bracket. All you'll be given is the category. Any name for a pet. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after you answer. Uh, Mr. Chief, I wasn't able to change my vote as an audience member either. Maybe it's just players who can change vote. Does that seem like something you'd Let's recognize? Let's see what this bracket is really about. That could be. It's nickname for a wise old cop to give their yeah, Dragon. Partner. I might have made a smoothie Time while I was out. Get in those predictions. <laughs> Yeah, that actually kind of works. The predictions are in. Starting things off. Gremlin. Chief. Oh, Gremlin's you killing it, though. have a rookie partner oh, that they think they <laughs> Ironically, it's like calling the tallest dude tiny. This yeah, but you get confused like with the actual chief. Done. No, but the chief would be captain. He'd be like, hey, chief. That victory will and both the rookie and count, the chief of police would turn around and politics. look at you, funny. That's the funny part about it. What an upset. No one saw this one coming. Next up. These answers exchanged some harsh words at the press conference. I am on the edge of my seat. Oh, Nemo is running away yeah. with it. Just running out the clock now. Ran away with that one. There's cash if you predicted this one. What was your one there, Kappa? Xerxes. Ah. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. This matchup was bound to happen. Oh. No one thought it would be this close. Yeah. Oh, it's very close. Oh. This one's going down to the wire. But I can, I can totally imagine that a rookie cop getting way. in a punch up and getting knocked out and getting saddled with their nickname Rocky for his career. <laughs> yeah, I can see that too. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. And oh, the fallout reference. A real tug of war. Oh, I can't believe no one wrote just plain old boo. This one's looking over. Dominating win. Which reminds me, you still need to play more um, Baldur's Gate. That is true. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Gremlin versus Nemo. Oh, Gremlin's got an early lead. An upset in the making. This one seems like it's over before it's done. Oh, I think Gremlin's clinched it. Yeah, comfortably. A regular juggernaut. Oh. 
who will be up against Gremlin in the final round. Answers. Will it be Rocky or will it be Dogmate? Folks, I've been waiting for this matchup my entire career. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Looks like it's gonna Dark be Dogmate. Just running out the clock now. No contest. I wonder if someone thought up Dogmeat as the name because they were thinking about a cat as their pet. But Dogmeat's the name now of the, the dog from uh, the Fallout what is games. The best name uh. for a wise old cop to call their rookie partner. <clears throat> I never found the time to play any of the Fallout games. I played a little bit of Fallout 3. Oh, I, I think, think I probably liked it, but yeah, it's done. never had the time. Victory! Let's go back to that scoreboard. Jackson getting back into the swing of things now that he's in bracketeering rather than Fibbage. <laughs> it's all been leading up to this. Time for the triple blind bracket. This bracket will change every single round. Let's start with a category. Name any monster. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take. Capac, have a quick read of chat. Now that you put your answer in. Ah, John Coombs. Thanks for the contribution. Capac's the just you, you didn't need to put epic gamer trivia Time's there, it's just epic out. trivia. Except for sports, I don't do sports trivia. What about like pop culture? Let's like, see yeah, what some we're of that. dealing like, with. Like not nerd pop culture, but pop just genu general boss. pop culture. Time to get in those predictions. A bit of that. <laughs> Best monster to have is a boss. All cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. Uh. Come on, Chief. Time's <laughs> running out. I'm suspicious someone might have disconnected. That's time at the prediction table. <clears throat> Up first. It's weird that this is my job. Oh, Godzilla versus Godzilla versus the RX-30407 versus the misspelled agglomination. It's really going back and well, forth. It's not a monster. <laughs> the clock is running out on voting time. Thank you very much, oh. <laughs> Dr. Kartoffel's luck. Although I really you. wish I could pronounce your name correctly in a uh, correct German accent, but maybe Kapak can? Kartoffel Salat. Yeah, Kartoffel Salat. I think I mumble it too much. This is why <laughs> we do this, folks. Thank you very much. Mike Wazowski. This one's looking over. Clear winner there. Uh, it allows multiples of anything, but you have the second person to enter. It has to okay it. I had to with the Tim bracket. Hortons thing. Oh, it doesn't get more contentious. Oh, than Lucas. This. A drone overlord. <laughs> the struggle is real. 
Getting some competition from the Stave Pup Marshmallow Man, though. Just running out the clock now. Pop goes the cannoli! <laughs> oh man, I hope Lucas at some point sees this stream now. It's time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. Potential winner starts to I don't think a Beholder would be a good person to have as a boss. Or Medusa. And Baba Yaga. <laughs> We're in the home stretch. Yeah, Baba Yaga can give you a lift to work in a house with the bird legs. Onomatopoeia! <laughs> <laughs> We're changing that bracket title again. Monster that would probably make the best lover. <laughs> oh, 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 this oh. is going to get awkward. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, man. <laughs> this is going to be weird. Where what? Uh, Time's oh running out. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, prediction table time is up. An Let's hour and back thirty to minutes in. Round two. This is why we do this, <laughs> folks. <laughs> oh, I don't know which way this is gonna go. Oh, it looks like it's okay. Mike was asking. I am on the edge of my seat. I don't even know how that would work. This one seems like sure it's over before it's Yeah, let's done. not think about mechanics. Let's just not. Sizzle, sizzle, boom! Oh, man. Our winner moves on to the final, <laughs> but let's find out what they'll face we'll off against. Just have to wait for the David Attenborough documentary about monster <laughs> reproduction. Tough first round matchups. <laughs> I can see the just screen capture. I'm going to be sharing now. with Lucas already. Oh, that wind oh, was man. so big, you could hear it in the next state over. <laughs> <laughs> One more change. The For those of you unfamiliar with who Lucas is, Lucas wet. created the your still makes most sense. popular mod that and adds non uh, NPCs to Space Engineers. Uh... What? what even is this? I don't know! <laughs> the struggle is real! <laughs> this one's looking over! <laughs> Put that one in the wind column! Oh, that's getting a screen cap. Joop! Let's see who won it all! Oh man, that, <laughs> that was something special. All right. Um, Wait, let, does it tell us what the middle of the brackets was? Because I want to show that to Lucas. Uh, you can on, on your phone. There's like a click here. You can see like the whole ah. brackets. Oh, that doesn't... Yeah, I'm not going to be really easily able to share that. Oh, uh, man. Well, I think I think they, like, generate them as, like, animated GIFs, so it shouldn't... Ah. Uh -huh. 
shouldn't be too difficult to. Yep, but you can you can check them out <laughs> the, later. The best lava monster was just. <laughs> Uh, um, should we should we switch games and do some uh, the quip flash or something? Well, I was thinking, did you want to do the trivia one? Oh yeah, murder trivia. Yeah. Sure. Uh, all right, this one will take a moment to set up because I have to re-stream stuff to Capac. Because the way I get Where's the mouse. Where's the mouse? Uh, uh, that's in five. Is it? Uh, or, no, it's Jackbox six. Uh, share my screen. Jackbox six. There you go. Come back. Enjoy your less delay. Hooray! <laughs> so that you can act, you and I can converse seeing the same thing. <laughs> Alright, time for Capac to win. Yeah, I just posted the final result of the uh, racketeering to Twitter. Ah, nice. And Dr. Kartoffel Slat just posted in um, the Discord chat the monster that would probably make the best lover. Lucas, our drone overload. Now let's just make sure this is all still set correctly. Ah, I was hoping I could increase that. 50 players. See you later. Um, all right, <clears throat> hiding the screen, getting my phone up. All right, everybody ready? Room code reveal in three, two, one, go. Uh, Ison, um, uh, Ball Guys is, uh, it doesn't have private rooms yet. Yeah. When Fall Guys has private rooms, we will absolutely be hosting some sessions in it because that'll be a load of fun. Uh, but until then, and while my PC for some reason doesn't like the game, um, and all of the server troubles and everything, we're gonna hold off. <clears throat> Here we go. Capax best game. This yes. is your wake up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. This isn't an ice cream lover's convention after all, but a game of dire consequences. Only one of you will survive. Anyway, we know you have many choices for your murder hotel needs, and we're grateful you chose us. All right, first question. Where is the Olympic torch traditionally lit? Use your device to answer the question. That goes for the audience, too. Oh, who Time has an answer? The and the correct oh. answer is... Who got the question right? Capac! Well... <laughs> Seriously? The rest of you, come with me. I, I mean, I know you said you didn't know sports trivia, but. Welcome to room 101. 
What, what, what is an Olympics? Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer uh. that fits this category. <coughs> Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. And I do mean anyone. And this is where my geography fails me. Wait, does it have to be an existing country? Yes. Well, that rules out Persia and Prussia. Oh no, Geek Tech, if you don't answer, you're just knocked out. Answer time is coming to an end. Oh. Looks like you're all saved by Geek Tech. You didn't answer. Puerto Rico is a territory, you. not a country. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what everyone else did. We've got Mind Meld. Oh. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done with you yet. Dying doesn't mean you have to drop out. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Oh, also, there's an audience in the game. If they survive, you die. Hot tip, you can join the audience at any time. <coughs> Let's keep moving. Oh, excuse me. In the okay. poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas, what does Santa say first? Uh. Oh. Oh. I think I screwed that up. Oh. Time's running out. Who picked this? <laughs> really, Catback? The rest now of dash you in, are now still dash in, now dash in, and comet and splits in, or whatever it is. I just remember the first bit. Oh, this is all gonna come back, back to bite me because I'm still gonna lose. Are you ready to fall? In love with my new mini game? You're going oh, to drop down this board on. and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm. Someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Hey, you, pick the landing slots that kill. Oh, it's a Plinketo boy. If someone dies in your death zone, you get a prize. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Let the games oh. begin. Pick a spot to drop from. A game about gravity is about to go down. Oh. 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 I was worried that no one would find the death zones, but whew, I'm relieved now. You know, I avoided this place most of my adult life, but it's surprisingly nice to be back. To you, this is just a haunted murder hotel, but to me, it's a haunted murder home. So, <laughs> is this another one of these these situations where I give Capac lots of praise and like big him up, and then it all just goes horribly wrong? Which I not bring to fencing practice? Now we're getting back to Yeah, into I feel like this might be something you'll know that I have just guessed. I've watched enough Shadowversity and Lindy Beige to know the answer to this question. Yeah, I had no idea on that. I want to show you something. I hope you like gifts. 
Some families hide their shame. We gift wrap them. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Choose wisely. Oh, what have we got? Oh, huh? cool. It's the cursed mirror that belonged to my old Auntie Vale. Oh, FYI, you're vulnerable to possession now by a ghost. So try to answer before them, or whatever answer they pick will be blocked out on your device. But if you're possessed by a real dum-dum, it's not a big deal. Great, so I have to answer super fast now. Um, and I think, yeah, I think you're, like, possessed by plastic straw. So if he answers here, before you, you won't be able to answer that answer. Alive, right. We'll go to the final round. Next question. What did the singer Adele name each of her first three albums after? I have no idea. I just randomly clicked because I knew I had to click quick. Who picked this? What? <laughs> okay. Time for consequences. <clears throat> ah, the lost oh. art of letter writing. Okay. I'm going to dictate a message to you. I knew I should have been playing on my PC instead of my phone. Write down as much of what I say as you can. <laughs> the player who writes the fewest of my words will die. Okay, let me lean back in this chair and get my feet up. And we begin. Dear police, congratulations. You've won a free trip to Fiji. All you have to do is leave immediately and ask no follow-up questions. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Just ignore your ongoing investigations and get on a plane. Time's up. Okay, now I'm just gonna do a quick editorial review of your work. And here's how you did. Oh yeah. I am oh, especially no. disappointed with one Swipe of you. Swipe for the win! That's not even close to what I said. <laughs> oh, brutal. This is definitely one of those moments where swipe pays off. <laughs> Let's keep moving. What the heck was that board game with the black and white discs that my cousin Crazy Donna used to play? Yeah, the first thing I thought was go as well. This was another random guess on my part. Who picked this? Drat. Can I survive another death round? Follow me. <laughs> I think my luck's about to run out. I'm going to give you a chance to password protect your Oh life. no! <laughs> Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Don't make it easy. If someone cracks your password, you die. Come on. Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. Can anyone do what I managed to do with this in if one of our previous games, where I actually guessed someone's out, password? I will reward you all. Don't be greedy about what letters you figured out. Let everyone know. Uh... No! You thought that would be too hard to oh, guess. Couldn't think of another word. I was almost there. <sighs> I was just typing in lame when we ran out of time. Uh, I was like, I was trying to think hangman Only and like what are the least, alive. less common letters. You know what that means. I was like, I can't think of a four letter, four letter word that works for this. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will see, you be the one to it. escape? Back wins. <laughs> it's not over I'm yet. I'm going to give you a category. I know. Roll doll books. 
Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. Well, you move forward one <laughs> Which one did you think was a roll to Hullbook? The Grand Budapest Hotel. You're a little uh, bit closer to yeah. escaping. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, did you think it was going I to be just you? I thought he had some weird, like, oh, autobiography or something that had a name like that. If up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Whoops. Yeah, Here comes nice. the next question. Nobel Prize winning scientist. Philo Farnsworth. Nope. Nope. Known to his friends as Pastry. Here come ah. the ghosts! Go away! <laughs> JC's catching up fast! Uh... A lot of lucky guesses. Don't look behind you. It's only darkness. Cats in the musical, cats. I have no idea. Time is almost up. No, they all got stupid names. That ghost can smell your life force. Oh, no, go away. <laughs> Don't smell me. Melissa McCarthy movies. Got a bit of a gap there, can I? Star Trek captains. <laughs> uh, well, that's one easy one for Capac. Right. Uh oh, this might be over soon. Where do you think you're going? If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to Come this on, question. Come on, sports question. Come on. And that includes the third answer oh. choice now, too. Time is almost up. Well. You are but shadows now. Books over a thousand pages. Oh, oh no. Capax held at the door again. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Yeah. The darkness approaches. Core engine parts. Will Kapak get this answer? Yes, Kapak yes. wins! Oh, just in time. <laughs> Well played, Kapak. Blam! $3,000. 
Weems got the highest score overall, as we did JC. Jeez, you weren't even vaguely near the po top of the monies, Kamak. Mm-hmm. You got all the questions right. <laughs> Should we do one more round? Yeah. Sneaky screen time! You decide to go on your PC this time. No, it's going issues. Waiting on Capac, and then I'll share the room code. There we go. There we go. In three, two, one, room code. Ding, 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 ding. Alrighty, let's go. I think we can skip the intros now. Yep. This is your wake up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. You just checked in to a game of murder. Only one of you will survive, and that one survivor will get a coupon for 20% off your next visit. Okay, first question. Who was featured in the Lonely Island song, I'm on a Boat? Use your uh... device to answer the question. See, this is the sort of pop culture question I thought I was meaning you might not know, Kappa. Hmm. <laughs> when I asked if you knew pop culture stuff. Do you know the answer to this? No, I know the song. <laughs> Almost out of time. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? No one. <laughs> well, wow. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. Doom service. We're at room 113. Yay. I love using Cousin Aloysius's magic props. Uh... <laughs> Pick a space inside the box to hide. If we're all in the box, I would say don't get too comfortable. The but I feel like that's obvious. <laughs> there are some. I don't, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Without looking, I'll just stab into this oh, thing. There we go. Oh, geez. Magic. I wonder if that'll grow back. Oh, Brand is <laughs> skewered through the brain case. Ouch. You're not going anywhere. You're a ghost now, but you have options. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Oh, by the way, the audience is a player now and can win the whole frickin' game. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience whenever. It's like super low pressure. Let's try another one. According to NASA, what are raindrops actually shaped like? Oh man, I wish it rained hamburgers. <laughs> Time's almost up. Who picked this? What? What? The rest uh... of you are still alive. <laughs> um, I want to show you something. What? Well, welcome to room 227. Uh, apparently, my wish came true. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's play with spooky dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. It's kind of spooky to see skulls on dice. Ooh. It's your last chance to sneak a few extra rolls in. Oh no! <laughs> uh, well, that sure made a mess, but it was worth it. <laughs> Phew! Otherwise, I was I was out if you hadn't I had rolled some good over. I times growing up in this terrifying hotel. I would kill to feel like that kid again, which is sort of the whole premise for this game, I guess. I don't want to be dead. You dead, Capac? You dead? Also, Let's everyone moving. except for Davistan is on zero. Which of these boxing weight classes is the lightest? <laughs> Panda says, join me, Kapak. Join me in the afterlife. In the loving embrace of death. This. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, <laughs> everyone is, the, is wrong. Is the audience winning? Come with me. Have they managed to get more score than Daviston yet? Probably. <laughs> math. It's oh math, man, this baby. one sucks. Do as much math as you can before time runs out. <sighs> if you do the worst, you it's die. It's on my phone. Let's go. I thought this oh, would have no. been more fun to watch. Plastic straw is not doing too well. Hurry up and finish your math. Aw, oh, looks like you couldn't quite make it happen. Phew. Hey, I've actually got money. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. Which of these champagnes is the driest? To this one, Kavak. No. Yeah. I'm uh, not a big champagne yes. drinker. But we still got it right. <laughs> Time for consequences. Ah, the spirit of giving. You each get five hundred dollars. Oh, this is better with three people. Give some of that money to your friend. The person with the most cash at the end. Will die. Because we've only had but this one when someone, we played so far with two people. Or more, I will kill you instead. Three makes it a bit more interesting. Begin. <laughs> oh, the tension. <gasps> Time to check the receipts. Oh, Jesse! Oh, oh! If you're overfunded, you're safe. Oh. But if you invested in them... Yeah, I got a bonus oh. hundred bucks! Oh yeah, the audience is almost Let's winning. Let's try another one. Yeah. 
So I need to restock some party supplies. <laughs> Surprise. The audience has come close to winning a few times. Time's running out. Who picked this? I want to show you. You know that one, Kabak? Uh, thought it was pancreas. Ah. Uh, this is the one pancreas, with the big creepy Pancreas mirror. contributes stuff that goes into stuff that comes oh, out hey, your bile duct, but it doesn't my aunt produce the bile. Is riding on this mirror. Mm. Pay attention to her unique handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. I should be Let paying to, uh, attention begin. to how Aunt Mildred wrote. Pay attention to the words as they appear and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote, or you die. Oh, this one's quite tough. <laughs> Enter the right word. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Oh, oh um, that's a weird mistake. Let me show you what's behind the looking glass. That one was a lot more difficult than we've had those in the past. Only one of you is still alive. Oh, and the audience is in the Your lead death. firmly. Oh no. Over a thousand dollars ahead of anyone else. Congrats on making it here alive. But can you escape? Oh no. Now I get to lose from first place. Category. Kubler Ross five stages of grief. Tap each answer. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. Uh. You're on your way to escaping. Oh, wait. Did you think it was going to be just you? Aw, that's cute. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Why do I have to be so bad at trivia? Volcanoes! Hmm. Oh, all of them. Hmm. Next question. Tarot cards. Oh boy. No, not again. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. No, oh. Daviston's gonna kill uh -oh. me. Here comes trouble. Here comes the darkness. Movies with the werewolf. Time is almost up. Oh no, I think Daviston's gonna... Ooh, so close to being dead. Onions. Oh. 
Mm, delicious brains. Oh no, no! Onion failed. I got killed. My life force. Mm, you oh. stole some yummy life force. Moving on. Part of Alexander the Great's empire. There's a g -g -g ghost right behind you. Oh, Kapak's almost Hello, past me. Darkness. Leap years. Uh, what? It's quite an easy one. Time is almost up. Yeah, I got my life force back. Swap. But Kapak is right behind me. Former British colonies. Oh. Drat. Oh no. Jesse's oh, in the lead. No. It's not over yet. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Well. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Oh. Black Mirror episodes. Oh boy. This is a Time very is tight up. finish. Four people could win this. Oh. Mr. Bean wins! No! Congratulations! Oh, it re-exploded, and it's back! Ha! <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was some, some good Daviston, plays. Daviston in the top position. I came second by monies. That's a rarity. How far down is Kapak by the monies? Ooh, wow. Yep. <laughs> well, thank you for coming, everybody. That's all we got time for today. Uh, make sure to keep an eye on the Discord, as Kapak and I may be back for a surprise bonus stream tomorrow, at around the same time as this. Yeah. It's something secret. It's something people have been poking us to play for a long, long time. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Yeah. So there's, and then of course there's Friday with Stationeers and Thursday with Cocktail Night with Kapak. Yep. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will hopefully see you all then. Thanks for see coming. See you next time, everybody. Bye.